So you have your shiny new Husqvarna Svart Billin 401 and you're probably a little paranoid about dropping it and scratching up that beautiful retro modern steampunk body. You could get some engine guards but they do make the bike heavier and change the look of the bike and why mess with perfection. Frame sliders to the rescue. And as always, the cheapest option is AliExpress, although you will have to wait a little bit longer before you can get the spangs out. One word of warning first though, some of these sliders are just generic sliders with 401 written on the side. I ordered this exhaust slider and it didn't fit at all. After a lot of back and forth with AliExpress, I did get a refund, but it was a hassle. I've learned it's probably a good idea to avoid AliExpress shops with names that are just numbers. Anyway, after giving up on the exhaust slider, I started having a closer look at frame sliders. On AliExpress, the choice seemed to be between something that looked like a doorknob or something that looked like an RC car remote control. Most of them seem to have this skinny part at the base which looked like it would bend or break very easily. I wanted something that fitted in with the design of the bike but didn't really stick out too much. That's when I found these Taiwanese sliders on Amazon. They are probably sold under a variety of brands but the ones I bought were branded Lixum. This seems to be a small Taiwanese company that distributes a few motorcycle parts. They have a website, but it seems to have been hacked. Uh, I'll let you guess which country. And all I can say is don't click on the link with kids in the room. Anyway, I really like the subtle design, so I'll take you through the installation process, which was very easy, and then you can decide whether they have the look that you're looking for. The sliders come in this beautiful box that would be worthy of a bottle of aftershave. Attaching them is as simple as removing these two hex screws, placing the base bracket in the holes, and using the supplied screws to replace the original screws. The base of the slider is then attached using a 12mm bolt. And finally the cap is then pushed into the hole and secured underneath using a very small hexagonal screw which stops the cap from sliding out. You then Repeat the process on the other side of the bike. So you can see the slider matches the gloss black of the frame. And the cap also matches the matte grey on the panels. And this is what they look like after being fitted. I think they match the bike very nicely and don't really grab your attention at all. And there we go. If you found this video at all useful or think it might help someone else, please hit the like button. That's all for now. Ride safely.